One thing that I want to update you guys on all got matched with a co-op when I had my first Pilates class today. Hi guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel. My name is Brianna and today we are doing an exam day morning routine. I am writing my last midterm exam of the year. I've been writing midterm since like the third week of January and I have not stopped. So I am more than ready to get this done. My exam is later in the day, so I do have a bit of time. I'm gonna try to do my whole routine. I'm gonna get in the shower and do my hair care, my skincare. I'm gonna make a snack and everything like that because I've just been absolutely slugging out these last few days studying. I've been wearing this crew neck, I kid you not, for like three days in a row and I haven't washed it because it's like a comfort crew neck now. So I'm gonna get in the shower and give you guys an updated hair care routine. And just one thing that I have learned from taking so many midterms in the year is that if I look good, then I'll feel good. And that doesn't necessarily mean like doing my makeup or anything, but it's like doing the bare minimum by like washing my hair and making sure that I look put together so that I can like channel Elle Woods who had like no shot at passing the LSAT. And I basically have no shot at passing any of my midterms, but your girl's still here. So I'm gonna get in the shower. I just spent the last 20 minutes in the shower. I I use the same shampoo and conditioner that I have for the last few years. I use the OGX Coconut Curl Shampoo and Conditioner. Then I also really like the Drunk Elephant Hair Mask. And if you guys want to know what I've been cleansing my face with lately, it's the Be The Skin 30 Second Exfoliator, like Pour Zero. I really like it. But right now I'm going to walk you guys through my hair care routine. I got it cut in Vietnam and in Japan, and then I got it repermed in Japan. My hair has been damaged a little bit just with the chemicals to like get that curl going. But if you maintain your perm with the right products and tools, then it won't make your hair like break off in pieces and stuff which my hair hasn't done yet guys i have been feeling like the year end burnout it's not even funny i feel like i say that every term like oh i'm burnt out no no i'm burnt out now writing this exam today is going to take out the last like two percent that i have in the tank like it has been so hard just to keep pushing through but what can we do i also like these drops from pour it in, especially in the winter when my skin is feeling extra dry. So I've been extra cautious with my hair because if you go out into the cold with wet hair, your hair will literally freeze up and dry and it'll like crackle and you can like literally hear that it's dry. So that's why I've been using the hair mask. I've been using hair oils. I always use my curl cream, but I've also been using a hair dryer. You guys know I don't typically use hair dryers and that's because I'm really worried about heat damage, especially because I already have a perm, but I got this hair dryer from Le Fen. It's super sleek and I found that it's actually pretty protective for my hair and it's not noisy at all because my roommate is still sleeping at like 7 45 in the morning so i think this is literally perfect for me i'm gonna do my hair oil right now i do want to do some studying before the exam so i'm gonna just finish up my hair care routine really quick and show you how i use this hair dryer so i like my hair to be like 50 to 60 percent of the way dry you guys can kind of see my curl pattern coming in i just scrunch it upwards like this i like to have it on the hot cold circle for my scalp especially because i don't want it to get too hot so i'm going to turn it on low low and I'm going to click this button twice. This would be heat, but I like to have it on this one. This hair dryer saves me so much time in the mornings because I don't have to wait for all of my hair to air dry before leaving. And you guys know I'm usually pressed for time in the mornings. I also really like using the hot and cold circle mode. It's super easy to activate. You just press the button twice and it'll circulate between two different temperatures to protect your scalp and hair. So that's why I highly recommend Lay Fen. And I just want to give a huge shout out to Lay Fen for sponsoring this portion of the video. If you guys want to try it out, it'll be on sale for $80 off. It is at its lowest price of the year. And you can go to the link in my description box below. You really don't want to miss out. I hair is 90% dried in less than five minutes and my curls are perfectly maintained. like taco kind of bowl. I'm just gonna use this seasoning. 
gonna make a really simple pico with whatever I have left in the fridge, which is just one tomato, like half a cucumber, and some red onion because I don't really have anything else and I don't think I really need anything else. And then I'm gonna assemble everything. and it looks so good. I've literally just been nibbling on it. This is what it looks like. So I wanna show you guys this huge ass head of lettuce that I got. Do you guys like see this? Like tell me your GMO without telling me your GMO. Guys, it's Diwali. So everyone's doing fireworks outside and it's so pretty. A lot of my friends are Hindu, so I actually used to celebrate Diwali like every year of high school and in my first two years of uni. But this is like the first year that I didn't really like do anything in particular with my friends or their families. One thing I hate about cooking taco bowls is that there's so many components, so the kitchen becomes a disaster. Like, guys. But this is what it looks like. So I just did like white rice. I should have seasoned it, but I don't really know how to. And then I just did black beans, lettuce, the pico. The beef is under there somehow. Like this entire square and then I did the sour cream on the side because I have nowhere else to put it and I didn't want to put it in a separate container because that's too much work and then I put the cheese on top and we're gonna melt the salt in the microwave and I know what you're thinking the vegetables are gonna get warm but we can't do anything about it this is the reality of meal prep good morning guys I'm kind of in a rush because I have my first Pilates class today I woke up at like eight o'clock to clean the entire apartment because it's my week so I just like swiffered I vacuumed I did literally like the whole nine yards like I use stainless steel spray on all the cabinet door handles which is so extra but Anyways, I did that this morning. Like I have the dishwasher running. I also did my laundry. So super productive like morning at home, like not necessarily working, but. So because my friends and I all got matched with a co-op or basically an internship that we all wanted I thought I would do a little congratulatory gift Lululemon recently came out with a new shade All my girlfriends really love Lululemon and it's a good company for like actually working out like athleisure and then functional comfy work clothes So I just put a few things off their wish list. I specifically got one of my friends 550s because you guys know I love my 550s and she's tried mine on before and she really liked them And so I thought these would be perfect for when she's like running around the hospital but as I was saying, everyone loves the espresso color, so I thought it'd be really cute if we all got matching espresso pieces. And this is also coming like a week late. These are supposed to be like boo baskets for like Halloween, but then we were just swamped with exams. So I'm only getting to these now, but I'm super excited to make them. This bag reminds me of Haley, so I'm gonna do hers first. So this is the Align Tank. I got Haley a matching espresso set because she loves Lulu and she's so outdoorsy. This one is for Janice. Haley loves Bueno, so I got her a pack of that. I just love Haribo, but all girls also love Haribo ever since I put them on, so I'll get some pack of that in here too. For Janice, I also got her Bueno. These are the espresso pants. Sketchy wrapping, but it's okay. Bueno and Haribo. And then I also got everyone holiday candles. Haley also recently got a Nespresso machine, so I got her these limited edition gingerbread Nespresso pods. I really wanted to make like an advent week for her in Nespresso, so like I would pick like a different pod for every day of the week, but they only had like their advent calendar for the entire month, and I didn't want to do that, so I just got her a limited edition one here. But anyways, let's get into the holiday candles that I bought. The bag was so heavy. I have six Bath & Body Works candles and I feel like I'm living out my like 2014 YouTuber who does Bath & Body Works hauls and they have like 30 hand sanitizers. But anyways, the first one that I got is Winter Candy Apple and it smells so, so good. I also got Cinnamon Caramel Swirl that I think I'm actually gonna give to my other friend. I also got Mary Cookie and then I got Crushed Candy Cane which also smells super good, delish. Also, the reason why I got six is because it was buy to get one free. And then I got a Spiced apple today and then i got another crushed candy apple so i got two because i'm going to keep one for my place and my roommate sarah's hand sanitizer recently exploded so i actually just got her a new one and then as for candles thinking about who to give what i'm gonna give 
this one to Sarah. For Haley, I'm gonna give her Mary Cookie. For Janice, I'm gonna give her crushed candy. Hi guys, if you can hear that typing, it's because I'm on the phone with Daisy. If you guys ever wonder how I get anything done when I am basically on the verge of burnout, it's by body doubling where you like have someone like keep you accountable and you keep them accountable. I just exist with someone, you guys probably know I do this all the time already, but there are so many things going on right now that I just want to show you. First of all, my room is a disaster. I am perched on the edge of my bed because all of my clothes, they just take up the entirety of my bed. I'm trying to fold them and put them away. And so I have nowhere to sit and I don't want to stand while doing that. And I also can't see my floor. I've said that so many times. But if you guys actually want to see what that looks like, this is what it looks like. You can't see the ground. Like, this is ridiculous. I can't even believe I'm showing you guys this, but that is my door and I can barely walk out of it. It's not always this bad. Okay, usually it's in a pile in the corner and then I can't access my closet. But anyways, one thing that I want to update you guys on is that I have severely anemic, apparently. I've been taking my Ferris Fumarate, which is like my prescription. For the past six weeks, it was ridiculous how low my ferritin levels were. So I've been taking my little red pill twice a day, every day for the last like six weeks and my ferritin levels are back at like could be anemic. That's like the name of the range. But before when I got my blood work done, I had access to my results online. And I thought like, oh, that isn't that bad. And then when I rechecked it, I was actually severely anemic. Like my doctor called me and rightfully so because I was like, oh yeah, this is fine. Like nothing's wrong. Clearly I haven't learned anything in fucking school because I didn't read my fucking results right. But she called me and she was like, um, how are you feeling? Like, do you feel extremely lethargic? And I'm like, yeah, like all the time. And then she's like, well, what are your periods like? I don't know if this is TMI, but I was like, they're super light. They only last like two or three days. And honestly, I never really attributed that to being like anemic or just like not having a lot of red meat. I thought it was just genetics. And I was like, great, I have a light period. I get no cramps, I get nothing. But then she's like, how much red meat do you have? And I was like, oh, I was actually thinking of going pescatarian where I don't even eat any animals. I only eat fish. And she was like, okay, well you're anemic and I need to prescribe you something. And I was like, okay, you're the doctor. <laughs> like, okay, like I guess so. And, and so I got my prescription and I've been taking it now. And guys, I'm gonna be so real with you. I was so non-adherent in the beginning because I was like, mm, nothing's wrong. This isn't gonna do anything. It's just gonna make my periods worse. It didn't make them necessarily worse, but they are heavier now, which is actually just like my body being normal. So there's that. And then my friend actually told me that I don't look as ghastly. At first she was like, you look happier, but then actually just because I look more alive. So that is a life update. I just said it earlier on my story the other day that I had IDA and people were like, what do you mean you have IDA? First of all, there's many different types of anemia. And I literally had an exam on it. So I don't know why I wasn't adherent in the beginning. I just was in denial, I guess, that there was nothing wrong. And I also just like, wasn't really in the habit of taking any pills like morning and night on an empty stomach. And I was just like, mm, I'm kind of in a rush all the time already. I don't have time for this. And all my friends, because they're gonna be a great healthcare providers, were on my ass every morning and night being like, do you take your iron yet? And I'm like, okay. So I've been taking it consistently now and my ferritin levels are going up. So that's good. Did I just procrastinate telling you guys that story for the last five minutes in avoidance of cleaning all my laundry? Maybe. Also, all those fireworks that you guys are hearing are for Diwali. I really wish I could go out to see them, but it's literally freezing and I need to clean my room. Okay, let's time lapse this bitch. out of the shower and my hair is a literal disaster. I did not wash it properly just because I'm going through it at the moment. The perm is not perming at all. I'm just gonna try to section it a little bit. I have a headache right now. I already took medicine for a headache in the morning so I don't really want to take another one even though I'm allowed to but I feel like I should identify the problem. I think I'm dehydrated honestly. Also my bangs look like shit and my hair looks like shit. <laughs> Okay, wait, let me wet this and let me at least do my bangs. You should not brush your hair if you have a perm. Like you're supposed to let the curls come in. This is such a productive mental breakdown. Okay, I re-wet my hair and I'm gonna curl it up again after I just ruined it with the hairbrush. Also, my bangs are too long, like these need to be cut. Okay, I am no longer looking like Medusa, but apparently my bubble tea spilled all over the car. So no bubble tea for Brianna, apparently. And also my bangs look so crazy right now. 
but I really want to cut them just a little. Daisy, what if I just cut like an inch? How about tomorrow? We're gonna visit this tomorrow. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> okay. 